Hi, my name is Vineet and I'm going to show you how data types work in LabVIEW. In LabVIEW, every object in wire is always associated with some data type. It's a strictly type language, if you're familiar with other programming languages. And if we look over to the computer here, I've already got a very basic LabVIEW program written, or a VI. And I've just, I've just dropped down a number of different data types to show you what they look like. I've got a, a row of, a column of controls here. And so I've got an integer control. I've got a floating point number numeric control. I've got a Boolean switch here. I've got a string control. And I've just picked a variety of different things. And I've actually got a corresponding display or an indicator also on the right-hand side in order to, to show you what it looks like when it's actually being displayed to the user. Let's uh, type in some values here. I'll type in the number 7. Let's say 9.25 for a floating point number. I've got a Boolean toggle switch here. And we can type in hello on the string control. And if I hit run, you can see the corresponding values are then propagated across to the corresponding displays. If we look at the block diagram, you can see each of these different data types is actually represented by a different color. In fact, I can also open up the context help window in the top right-hand corner, this question mark window. And now, as I hover over each of the different objects on the block diagram, it actually tells me a little bit more about what that object is. I can also hover over the wire itself. And I can see that the data type of that specific wire is, in this case, 32-bit integers, or a, in this case, a double precision number. So I get information on how data is passed between the different wires. And in LabVIEW, if I want to convert between different data types, I've got a few options for that as well. I can break this orange wire here, which represents floating point numbers. And I'm going to wire this blue wire, which is integer numbers, over to the floating point indicator. Now, because both floating point numbers and integer numbers are used to represent numerics, LabVIEW can automatically convert between the blue integer number over to this other data type. And if you're paying attention, you can actually see that there's a red coercion dot that's also appeared here that shows that LabVIEW's seen that they're two different data types, and it's done the conversion for me. If I wanted to convert between two numbers or two data types that are a little more different, let's say I wanted to convert a number to a string, for example, You'll, you'll notice that if I do the same thing, if I try the same thing, I can delete this string wire. I can wire the blue wire to the string indicator. And I get broken wires. So a broken wire means that there's some type of incompatibility that's happened between the data types that I've got. And I can also hover over the broken wire itself. And you can see LabVIEW's even going to tell me that I've connected two different terminals of two different types. And, um, and I need to provide a little bit more information to show how to actually convert from one type to the other. The other thing I'll point out is in this broken wire state, if we look at the top corner here where normally we see a run arrow, in this case we see a broken arrow. And that broken arrow means that there's errors on the block diagram and my program's not going to execute. I can click on that broken arrow and it gives me an error list. So it tells me where it sees problems. And if I double click on the error itself, it actually takes me right to where that broken wire is. Well, we don't want errors. And so let's break this broken wire here. and. Uh, if I right click on the block diagram on the, the functions palette, I can go to the string palette and look at this string to number conversion subpalette. So these are functions specifically for converting between numbers and strings. I can take the number to decimal string function and drop this down here on the palette, on the block diagram, and then wire up that integer wire over to the function and then the output of that function over to the string indicator. So now I've effectively converted the integer function over to a string. So LabVIEW now knows how to associate that data type and convert that data type. And now if I hit run, you can see instead of, instead of this indicator saying hello, if I hit run, it now says 7. So that integer value is now propagated through the wires. I've actually converted to a textual value. And I've successfully implemented that number in a string format. So that's how different data types work in LabVIEW graphical programming.